going on y'all welcome back to ya boy so uh i know a lot of us have probably thought about this or came across somebody like this whatever gold diggers right they come in every age both genders men and women you know, anyone from 18 to like 90. I mean, you know, it, a gold digger could be trying to get after you just because of how much money you have, what kind of car you drive, what you're able to put out, you know, whatever. Because you know, there are some guys that only want to be with women for sex and shit like that. But what I find funny is. You know, your typical gold digger, especially the these valley girl bitch ass motherfuckers out here in LA, if they don't see a Mercedes Benz key, a key to a Mercedes Benz, BMW, Aston Martin, Maserati, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, you know, any of these higher end cars they don't want nothing to do with you right but here's the concept and the actual deep thought deep thought that these narrow minded people think of because they're narrow minded right so literally they're so tunnel vision and narrow minded it's not even funny right you don't need a mercedes you can i can go buy a brand new mercedes right now for thirty five thousand dollars a ford f-150 literally costs more than your basic mercedes benz right now um, an f-150 is going to cost you forty five to eighty thousand dollars for an F-150. Fuck, even the Ford Mavericks are like $30,000, $35,000. And that's like a, the smallest truck you can get from Ford. But yet you can get a starter Mercedes, a little C230, for like $35,000. Maybe even less, I don't know. They don't even realize that if you have a freaking pre-runner truck... Like me, my truck is a 2012 F-150. I paid like, okay, 16 grand for it. And so far at this very point in time, I've already dumped like 10 grand into it between the fenders, the bumpers, the suspension, the, the window tint, the light bar. And that's it. I've only done like five or six things to it. And I've already dumped 10 grand into it, so I'm now in it for 26 grand, 27 grand, and that's about it. And I'm still not done building my truck. But think about this for a second. A lot of pre runner guys have at least $100,000 or more dumped into their trucks, and they are built to destroy. They literally build these trucks take them to the desert and go cruising through the desert like you would be cruising down the main street of your downtown of your city or cruising down the freeway doing 70 80 miles an hour and these us pre-runner guys are just cruising through the desert we break something oh well trailer back home or get it towed back home whatever and fix it no big deal that's what it's built to do to use but these freaking damn gold digger i know a lot of y'all are the type of people that don't care what other people have and you're only friends with somebody because of who they are like i am but honestly I can really give a shit less how much money you're worth. 
I don't care where you live at. I don't care if you're homeless. Don't care how much money you got or if you're broke. I don't care if you're driving a 1989 Toyota Corolla or a 2023 freaking Mercedes Benz or Lamborghini or flying your own private jet or what. I don't care. So many people are caught up in the wrong bullshit in today's day and age. Too many people are too concerned of, oh, I don't want to know you unless if you have X amount of money. I I don't date people unless if they're six foot tall or they're skinny or built like buffed out or they have X amount of money or if they're gay or straight lesbian, bisexual, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, man, woman, transgender, uh, Democrat, Republican, Christian, Catholic, Jewish, whatever, all this bullshit, right? Like, I am so fed up with how pity and shitty people have become on this planet. And I'm only 32 goddamn years old. And I'm going to tell you what. I now I understand why these old, older, more seasoned people that are like in their 70s, 80s, 90s, I now understand why they're such just, they're not angry, pissed off, hateful fucking people. They're just sick of everybody's fucking bullshit. Like, they're just sick and tired of everybody's bullshit. And like, I grew up with no kids in the neighborhood that I grew up in when I was a kid. When I was a kid, there was one other kid that I get to hang out with that lived cross street from me, one house over. Then there was two kids about four houses down from me, and those were the only other kids that I had to hang out with when I was a kid, right? And then like four streets over were two kids I went to school with, but I didn't get along with them. And then three streets the other direction was was a kid that was only down on vacation, but. I was always around people who were older generations than me or more seasoned. So I, and I grew up with my grandparents from Oklahoma and, or whatnot. And I mean, my grandfather was born in 1938 in Oklahoma and was a fucking dirt farmer. This dude didn't put up with fucking shit. Like he would smack the fuck out at you and tell you you're a fucking idiot if you're being stupid. He went to the Navy. And joined the fire services out in California and, you know, used to fight, be the cow fire, you know, to fight the raging wildfires up in the hills and shit, I mean, and worked with uh, the state to help uh, underprivileged kids or something like that. Um, don't quote me on that, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this dude was a hardcore, like, a real dude that, like, actually did real work and... Because of my grandparents and my dad's hard work ethic, you know what I'm saying? I've, and growing up with them my entire life, you know, and my mom and my brother, half brother, who's six and a half years older than me, for the first six years of my life, I've always grown up with that older generation. So I've gotten to the point to where it's like these gold diggers are nothing but trash. And people that act like that, I can't stand them. It's like, I don't even really get along really that well with people my age or younger. I mean, like, I'm not looking for a relationship because I don't give a fuck, right? I haven't been in a relationship in fucking God knows how in a long ass time, right? But if I were to ever be looking for a relationship... The woman would have to be at least my age or older. Maybe like, so I'm 32, she would have to be at least 28 to maybe 35 or whatnot. Because it's like, anything younger than that, I can't deal with it. Anything older than that, it's like, I'm too young for them. And it's like, it's not going to really work out. Because, yeah, quite a few different reasons. But if you're a gold digger, you need to start thinking. Your Mercedes Benz could only cost $35,000 that you're looking at. Because you think the guy's got money. Oh, and by the way, 
another thing quick thing is is the guy that doesn't have a Mercedes Benz might actually have more money than the guy that bought the Mercedes Benz because the guy that bought the Benz might have spent all of his money on the Benz and the guy that doesn't have the Benz might have a fatter bank account than the other guy you know what I mean so you need to people need to really start to stop need to stop and really fucking think about you know about things instead of taking shit for face value because yeah taking shit for face value if you see a line and it roars like a line it might be a line all right but at the end of the day that lion might not be hungry. He might be hurting. He might be trying to ask you for some help. I mean, so if it doesn't look like he's being aggressive towards you, he might not be being aggressive at that moment, point, point, point in time. He might be asking for help. So, yeah, take shit for at face, face value, but then to sit there and contemplate and actually deep think about what the hell is going on with that because at the end of the day you don't know somebody's bank account until you really get to know them but actually get to know somebody because of your heart and because of their heart fuck their wallet fuck the amount of money that they got fuck them what kind of car they're driving nobody gives shit that shit ain't important dog figure your shit out